Hey guys, it's Julianne. Thank you so much for joining my channel and checking out today's quick, easy little lesson on how to paint a Valentine's Day mini. So what do you need? You need a four by four canvas. This is a canvas panel. Um, you need paint, so you need light pink, white, bubblegum pink. This is kind of like a peachy pink. And then over here I have a copper color, but you can use whatever colors you want. You could use reds and pinks, you could do purples and pinks, you could do whatever you like. Um, you're gonna need some Q-tips and you're gonna need maybe just two small-ish detail brushes. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I have painted my four x four canvas with white. And then I very quickly sketched out a heart with pencil. You can see that on there. If you don't feel like that you're very good at sketching out a heart, you could um, trace a heart. So maybe print one out from your computer and then trace it on. Um, but it doesn't, you know, this is, it's supposed to be fun and sort of whimsical, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my Q-tip, I'm gonna dip it into, I'm gonna start with the darker pink, and I'm just gonna very lightly start putting in little, of these little tiny, circles all around the heart. Now the key to this is you don't want the heart to get, you want to keep the heart white if you can. You don't have to keep it white. You could paint it a color if you wanted, but I'm going to try to keep mine white. And I'm just very lightly dotting these on. This is the world's easiest painting because you don't need any skill to be able to do this. Little dots. And I'm just kind of haphazardly putting them around. I'm gonna flip it around and start using a fresh edge because these are getting a little bit big and I wanna be able to put in little tiny ones. And if the Q-tip doesn't work, then you can use a, a paintbrush as well. And just kind of put them around. in no particular pattern or order. Just like that. Very cute. Go. All right. Next up, I'm gonna take another Q-tip and I'm going to do the bubblegum pink. Same thing. And it's okay if they land on top of the other pinks. That's all right. Fun fact, I met my husband on Valentine's Day 31 years ago. I was actually dating somebody else and he wouldn't go out with me on Valentine's Day because he didn't want our relationship to be very serious. And I was like, all right. So I went out with a bunch of my girlfriends and I met the love of my life. I always say Valentine's Day can be a really good night to go out if you're single because anybody who's out is either with somebody or they're single. So yeah, there you have it. We have been together for 31 years and married for 28? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I'm married in 1995, so whatever the math is. Sorry, I'm just continuously going around here. Little dots. Already you can see it's like, just looks really cute. This is so fun to do. Kids love this. It's a great activity for like a school project because it's not that messy. You can make it for their teachers. They could make it for Whenever they want, friends. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the white, same thing, Q-tip. And I'm just gonna start dotting in the white. Mm -hmm. It's gonna pick up some of the other paint and that's okay. 
Now I'm doing this pretty quickly because I, I want this to be a quick tutorial, but you guys obviously take much more time and have fun with it. You don't need to zoom along like I am. I feel like this needs to be broken up a little bit. There's a little bit too much going on right there. Adding in the white. Looks good. All right. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of that sort of peachy pink. Just a tiny bit here and there. This is called Rose Pink, I think is the name of it. It's by Windsor and Newton. I bought it at Michael's. And it's kind of, I don't know how peachy it is, but it's a cool color. And that's the whole thing about this is to layer in the colors. So with this mini canvas that I bought, it comes with an easel. So that's what's really... It gets really cool to do because then if you do give it as a gift, you can give it with the easel and then the person can put this on a desk or on a windowsill or a bookcase or something and always think of you when they see it. Pretty. All right, now I'm going to go take my copper and I'm going to dab that in too. This copper is... Um, a little gunky because when I was making this video an oil truck pulled up across the street and my dog went berserk because he doesn't like trucks and the paint sat here for about 10 minutes so it, it kind of thickened up a little bit because I had to get him to stop barking so I could make the video Pretty. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back in now and just add in a little bit of that bubblegum pink again. Just dot it in or the lighter pink. Go back and forth. Pick whatever colors you want. You could Now you could even put in some reds if you wanted. Now I'm not going all the way out to the edges because I want to keep it kind of loose. So I want a little bit of white space here. And then just kind of dot some that are on the edge. Almost looks like petals or something fell down on here. Like that. All right. Last part is taking that white and going in and filling in the heart. Filling this in. Again, it doesn't have to be white. It can be whatever color you want. I just think it looks kind of neat with the white All the colors around it. And um, I'm finding that a, a little bit of the paint is kind of thickening up again because it probably sat here for 10 minutes. While I was waiting for the truck to leave. But I kind of like that. I like how there's a little bit of texture to this heart. And I'm just going over those pencil lines as much as I can and filling it in. And just like that, put a little bit more on texture. And this will dry pretty quickly. And if you have good handwriting or something like that, you could even write love or I love you or amore, I don't know, whatever you wanna write in here. Thank you, something, things sweet like that. And just try to make sure those pencil lines are gone. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I think this looks pretty good. So how quick and easy is that? All you need is Q-tips, a couple little paint brushes, the paint that I used, inexpensive paint. This is the Craft Smart bubblegum paint that I used. I used this Liquitex pink paint. And of course, white. And then the copper is this little tube that I had hanging around from a previous project. 
And then I don't know where that other one is, but that other pink that's kind of a, oh, here it is. Um, this one is Windsor and Gallery and it's called uh, Pale Rose Blush. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe and pass this along to any friends or family that you think might be interested. And thank you so much for joining me.